to set the issue fly fishing. Um, I am getting ready for a fishing trip and I am running low on eggs. Um, I think that I should have some, my hand's blocking. I think I should have some uh, trips coming up here soon that have uh, some really good um, brown trout. I'm hoping me and Vincent are trying to get some float trips set up um, with work. Uh, Vincent's have on his fly fishing comp team having to do team practice and stuff. He's guiding, he has guide trips up. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that it's hard to get up. I'm working, I'm practicing, I'm trying to fish and uh, get better and uh, find people to um, practice certain things and learn things with. It, it, it's just where we're at right now is in like mode like we want to get better so that when it's time to start racking up points we actually can be competitive and you know make a real run at it um which is what i want to do um i'm getting better i'm just not as uh, my, my goal is not just oh i can go and catch a whole bunch of fish i want to be in a competitive setting I want to be able to catch more fish than certain people and my goal is pretty high um so i got a lot of work on so today no indicators no indicators um all dry droppers the problem is is i couldn't use dry dropper because every time i use dry dropper it would start pouring rain Woo! uh so it was basically and i left my euro streamer box at home so all i had was uh, a dry dropper that was pretty much useless and nymphs. And today was nymph day. It was a bunch of nymphs just doing a bunch of different things, trying out stuff, you know, trying to find stuff. Some stuff worked, some stuff didn't, some stuff I realized, you know, I'm making mistakes on and just, just trying to get better. So I hope you enjoy. Plenty of fish, rainbows and brookies, all stocked. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, I will see you after the fishing is done. There we go. The little brookie. Jeez, was not tag on videotaping me. Hey, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Uh, long for trout. These are not natives. These are northern strain that they stock in this DH. There we go. Is that a little rainbow? Gosh, I'm having to get used to this net. Rainbow. Okay. There we go. What do we got here? Rainbow. Okay, come here. Oh, oh, dude, come here right in the net. I get down. That's not a bad one. Let's 
disgusting, dude. All right. All right. All right. Come here. Come here. All right. Yeah. Good little rainbow. All right. Let's put this back in there. That was a fish. Okay, did I find him? There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. All right. Rainbow. Okay. There we go. Come here. Here's a decent little fish. All right, well, I had a plan for today. I had a plan for today. Um, and it, it, it was gonna be dry droppers and urine, uh, Euro uh, streamers. Except Seth forgot his Euro streamer box at the house. So, That is my fault. We've caught probably close to a dozen so far. A little bit more. I don't know. Been there for a couple hours. So, I mean, it hasn't been a bad day. The water has definitely spread them out a bit. So, not as easy as I thought it was going to be. But hey, it just means we got to, you know. We're just gonna be throwing this thing around, getting some drifts, getting some fish. Is I'm about to throw a dry dropper. Oh, geez, that was a hit. There we go. There's another fish. Okay. Okay. Come here. Decent little rainbow. Like I said, the mites haven't been super consistent, but they've been here and there. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Piece of little rainbow. definitely wanted that again it's still that those little bites might be a days because every time i've hooked up on anything substantial it's been very much like it and the bite's been pretty convincing anything with conviction has been trout there we go what is this 
Another rainbow. Pretty fish. I went to pick it up and something popped it. So. I'm getting little ticks again. The little ticks I'm pretty sure are smaller fish. I'm not really worried about those. But I am going to hook up because every now and then. Oh goodness. Yep, every now and then that was a small tick. Small ticks end up being bigger fish. There we go. Decent fish. All right, so on that one, what I did is um, I need, I want to get over there. I can't really get over there to give a decent drift. Um, so what I did is I casted out everything and let everything kind of like get some uh, tension in the water let the current, let the current pull it a little bit. And then I just set my rod to where I can watch my line. If my line jumped any, I'm hooking up. Um, it's not a foolproof thing it doesn't detect small bites but I can't get over there right now I could do a dry dropper but I'm just being lazy so <laughs> to be honest um but yeah so we're gonna try to see if we can't get another one so you get one like that it's normally just kind of luck but if you get a few like that you might be on to something There we go. It's a better fish. Oh goodness. Yeah. Eh. He's about 17. 16 seven. That definitely is the best fish of the day. <sighs> Good fish. He's about 16. Still best fish of the day. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Finally. Okay, good. Come on. Come on. There it is. That's a good fish. Right. Goodness gracious. I have cycled through. Hey, stop moving, my man. I have cycled through so many daggum flies. Finally, I just went to a double egg fly. I don't know. As soon as it hit, as soon as it hit 11 o'clock, man, it fish just died. Um, had that one fish on a dry dropper. And after that, just nothing, man. Oh, geez. That, I was, I was, oh, this actually might be a good fish, too. Come here. Lord, I wasn't paying attention. No, it's a but a rainbow. Oh goodness, come here. There it is. <laughs> I just had a dragon. I was moving up and pa.
pretty fish. All right. So. Oh. There we go. Another good fish. Oh, angry fish. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. Sets because you hung up the wrong way. Here we go. Ooh, come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Come here. Oh, Mr. Rainbow. Oh, Mr. Rainbow. Come here. There we go. All right. You're a daggum pretty fish. Holy crap. If I didn't know you better. That looks pretty deck I'm close. It might just be in here for a while. Jeez, that's pretty. There we go. <laughs> uh, goodness. Come here, buddy. Come here. Mm -hmm. There you go. No, a basic Euro setup. Basic Euro 2. Nymph yep, Euro setup is killing it. And you know what? I'm okay with it. There we go. It's a better fish. Or it's just the current's really, really strong. No, it's a brook trout. Heck yeah. Good fish. It's, I wanted to catch some brooks. Oh, come here, come here, come here. There it is. Hey. That makes me happy. Oh, so there is a bunch of fish right here. I just had to get down. And I had to make my bottom fly. An egg. Oh, come on. Yeah, good. Okay, egg's gone. Pretty brookie. I'll catch a few more of those. That'd be cool. There we go. It's a better fish. Or it's just the current's really, really strong. No, it's a brook trout. Heck yeah. Good fish. It's, I wanted to catch some brooks. Oh, come here, come here, come here. There it is. Hey. That makes me happy. Oh, so there is a bunch of fish right here. I just had to get down. And I had to make my bottom fly. An egg. Pretty brookie. I'll catch a few more of those. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Here we go. Good fish. Not a big fish, but a good fish. Oh, there it goes. 
Some of these fish look really pretty. There we go. Another fish. Oh, jeez, I just hit myself <laughs> in the stomach with the fish. All right. Well, let's get another egg. Pretty fish. And one of my hooks. I know that egg, and that egg's been used a lot. Just an old egg. Oh, that's a good fish. Angry fish, too. Come here. Oh, he was just angry. <laughs> Only about 12 inches, but still, I'm happy. Oh, oh, there he goes. There we go. Here's a fish. Hey, brook trout. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, 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 hey. Calm, calm down, calm, calm. What are you doing? All right. Pretty fish. All right. That's what I want to see if there's any birdies over here. So again, good day. Caught good fish, caught plenty of fish. Nothing nothing too special about it. it I'm caught, um, I got to practice urine nymphing. Um, I did some different stuff. Um, it's interesting when you are only, when you are forced to fish one particular way, how you start with rod angles and where you're putting your line and so on and so forth, how you start really trying to differentiate and try to find different things. Um, when I was in that one big hole where it seemed like I was almost like, uh, like, um, allowing my line to bow out and pull, I, I barely felt, I think I felt maybe one hit from there. Um, when I was doing that, like when I was just regular urine infant, I could feel tick, 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 tick. But when I like let it go out and bow, I, I didn't feel it. I couldn't feel anything. All I was watching is for any kind of stutter, any kind of stop. And, um, I think that's something that could be viable in comps. Um, I did the same thing um, at the previous video. Uh, practice that. It, it seems to work pretty good whenever I got to cat uh, with the Euro line cast out pretty far. Um, however, I think when I'm able to use a dry dropper effectively and not worry about rain, um, I think it's. I think I'll probably end up using a dry dropper instead. Another thing I got to practice is uh, different angles of dry dropper. Um, it's called uh, oh, what's it called vectors and uh, different angles. <coughs> Excuse me, different angles to uh, like hold your line and have the dry. Basically, you're when you cast, you are basically um, you're doing it to where you're putting the nymph down as far as fast as you can, and the only thing that touched the water when you cast is the dry fly and nymph nothing else so it's not it's it's very niche it's meant for like pocket water and when you're fishing a uh, water uh or a current or something pretty close to you you're not going to be able to do it very effectively when you're casting 60 if you got to cast 67 feet which in a tournament is very unlikely a lot of the water you fish in the tournament especially on the east coast the water isn't super um big um so it's it's very viable um along with regular urine and stuff also another thing um, at the end of the trip, um, where I, I wasn't catching many fish, I was kind of frustrated. Um, I think the, uh, I, I, I had a realization that, um, sometimes just true. When you try everything, don't forget the basics. Cause the last like five or six fish I caught was just the normal, regular 
double nymph rig. Both had 3.5 uh, millimeter bead heads. The water was fast and deep. And when that happens, you need to get down. It almost doesn't matter how, um, how well or clean you cast, you'll be able to get that down as fast as possible. And I didn't cast very clean. At the end of the day, I started getting a little like um, sloppy with things and stuff. And I really need to practice on just kind of keeping focus and doing it because the more you more practice with that, the more consistent I'm going to be at actually proper drifts, proper casting, um, proper presentations. And um, I think that uh, the next videos I'm really going to, especially with the warm weather coming through, I'm really going to focus on if I'm not streamer fishing because it's it's about mid March. Streamer fishing is coming, and that's going to be very hard for me to like pull myself away from. Um, but uh, and I mean like traditional throwing big like feathery things. Um, but I'm really going to practice on dry droppers, um, vectoring, uh, I mean vector fishing, and um, like fishing with the Y, and, uh, fishing the Y, basically having my dry dropper off a tag and the other one drop, and be able to get that down quick and fast, and being able to pick up bites right when it hits the water, reaction bites. So um, that's the plan. Um, and then also, if you just enjoy fishing, I'm going to have that too. There's going to be plenty of fish caught. Um, I hope y'all enjoy, guys. You have any questions? You have any um, things you'd like to talk about, or you know, any suggestions? Please leave a comment if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. I very much appreciate it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. I have hundreds of fishing videos and fishing education videos. Um, and uh, yeah, as always, guys, tight lanes, blessings. Go out, catch some fish. I'm gonna finish tiny, tying these eggs up so I have them. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.